Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 tutorial where we're going to talk about the motion clips and how to generate your own through custom puppeteering. So the first step is to choose an actor. So I went to the content manager and I double clicked on one already. The second part is where I have to drop in an audio file for my character. So instead of recording my own, I will just go to the voice script tab, practice audio and I will choose one of the audio files here. I think it's called seducing. I will double click on this and I will only generate a lip sync. This is because I want to create a layer, a, a base foundation for my animation and later I will build on that with the motion clips. Oh wow, that's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. Okay, great. So as you can see, Crazy Talk does a fairly good job in anim animating the lips. Um, and lip syncing is a primary animation that everyone can do. Now, I will show you some little tricks on how you can enhance your animations and you can, you can uh, deliver results above the average animator. So let's open the timeline down here at the bottom and I will expand this and you can see in the audio track we have the audio file that we just added. If I expand this, you will see all the lip syncs that Crazy Talk generated. And right under that, we can see the motion clip track. And here is where we're going to drop in our motion clips. Okay? So let me close this part here and I will go to motion clip now. And you have different kinds of motion clips. And I would just like to quickly explain that motion clips are not like auto motions, okay? And in the previous tutorial we were talking that auto motions are the ones that are the animations that are generated from the audio file. But motion clips are completely independent. They have no relation to the audio track. They are pre-animated, pre uh, pre-made animations that are put inside the content manager and that you can just drag and drop them and use them whenever you need to. And you can also generate them through puppeteering. So let's start. Um, I, I heard the audio and I think the first thing anybody needs to do is try to imagine a story. Listen to the audio, look at the character and try to imagine that message. What is the character trying to convey? What emotion is the character trying to, to deliver? So I, immediately I think, okay, let's, let's, let's think about this story. She is pretending to be nice then I can make her look like she's confused and at the end she will be very sarcastic. So let me choose appeasing for the first part and I will drop this into the motion clip and play it. Oh wow, that's so interesting. Please do tell me more. Okay, so automatically the time, the time scrub stops because that's the end of the motion clip. If I rewind and I play this, the time scrub will continue more about this Higgs boson theory. Okay, great. So let me bring this motion clip all the way to the left. I think it's okay. Um, then right after, about at frame 200, she starts talking about the Higgs boson theory. So I want to make her look as if she's confused because she doesn't understand the theory. So I will go to scene stars and I will bring this motion clip in and add it right there. More about this Higgs boson. Okay. So the animation stopped, but I know that she continues uh, talking about the Hig Higgs boson theory all the way to frame uh, 300, 325. So I have two options with this motion clip. I can choose to either loop it, uh, just uh, copy paste over and over, or I can choose to stretch it. So if I want to loop it, I go to the loop option here, I activate that, I grab the end of this motion clip and I stretch it. And as you can see, it just copy-pasted by itself. More about this Higgs boson theory. Okay. I can undo that. And now what I would like to do is stretch this animation. And I do this by going to the left and choosing the speed function. And then I grab the right side and I stretch it. Let's play this back. Do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. Okay, pretty good. Um, you will also notice that at the beginning of these motion clips you have a little um, area, a little margin, a buffer zone I call it. This is a blending zone. So if I overlap that little space with the previous motion clip, 
then Crazy Talk knows that it, it has to try to blend that previous motion clip with the next one. Do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. Okay, pretty good. Now, the last one, we want to choose something that will make her look sarcastic. And I've been playing around with this, and I found that in the emotions folder, there is one called touched. And I think this could work. So let me just drag and drop this inside. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty nice. Let's review it and see what it looks like now. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> not bad, not bad. So let me bring this over here and overlap it, and we're good. Another little trick I would like to show you is that sometimes you, you may want to trim a motion clip, and you can do this. Simply hover your mouse over that exact um, time frame where you want to trim it, then right click and you can click on the break button. Then you can grab that last area and move it to the right, or you can simply right click and delete it. Okay, so it's very easy. Now, we know how to use motion clips from the content manager, but what if you want to create your own? Well, we can do this too. So first, let me delete all these motion clips that are inside, I need to select them. And there's two ways to delete them. I can right click and open the menu here with delete, or I can use the function delete keys on my keyboard. So delete. I will click on stop so that the time scrub goes to the beginning of the project. And now I will go up to the toolbar and I will click on face puppet. In the face puppet panel, you will see that we have different face animation profiles. These are personalities that are numbered one through seven. Each face profile has an additional six face controls like smiley, angry, sad, happy, and scared. And you can toggle all of these with the hotkeys. So if you choose a different face profile, you will see that you will be selecting different facial muscles on the right side solo panel. So this allows you greater freedom on the type of personality you want to use, which has specific facial muscles assigned to it, and they even have specific weights to those muscles. So for example, if you are animating a photorealistic image, then you would want to use male number one and female number two. But if you're using a cartoon character, such as the one I have here, then you might want to choose a different facial profile. This is because for cartoon characters, you require more exaggerated uh, facial movements. So let's try this out. I will choose female two, Okay, and we have the face controls inside, and then I will click on preview. I press spacebar, and as soon as this happens, you will see that a crosshair appears on my screen. This crosshair is a neutral point. This is a reference point where you start moving your mouse to the left, or to the right, or down, or up. So in Crazy Talk 7, we have four axes, left, right, down and up. And you can create different combinations of mouse movements. So I can start from the left, go down, and then go back up. Or I can go um, from upper right, diagonally, to lower left. Okay? So we're using face profile number two for photorealistic images. Notice the, the character's expressions as, as I move the mouse up and down. Then I will press number six which will take me to the grumpy character. And I will move the mouse in the same fashion and you will see the difference in movements. Again, number two and number six. Okay. So at this point, I would like to show you a little trick. While we are previewing, I have the freedom of choosing any one of these profiles on top by using the number keys. So I can use number one for male photorealistic two for female, then three, four, five, six, and seven. And if I press one, I will go back to the male. Additionally, besides using the number keys for choosing a profile, I can use the keyboard to choose a face control. 
So I can use Q for general. I can use W for sad. I can use E, R, T, and Y. So let's try this out. I will go to photo, uh, photorealistic female, that's number two, and we will choose the sad face control, which is W, okay? And you can see her facial expressions on the character. Now I will choose number six, and I will choose W again, and you will see those expressions, okay? I can choose additional face controls for this number six profile. See that? This is angry. This is angry for the, the cartoon one. So if I go back to photorealistic and try the angry one, okay, it's very subtle. Try number six again, angry, and there you go. And I can try the other profiles too, sad, happy, and scared. Okay, great. So let's try to record something now so that we can create our own motion clip to add at the bottom. So I will choose six, profile number six, and then I will choose the sad here, the sad face control, okay? And I will record this in real time. So let me press record and let's start. Remember that if I press, uh, if I move my mouse around, I will, I will control these facial movements and if I had head movement uh, activated too, I will generate head movements. I can also click my mouse button and this will allow me to make my character blink. And I can do this while I record. So let's record something. Oh wow, that's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> Excellent. So I can close the face puppet panel and you can see down here at the bottom where I just created my own puppet clip. And you can see this in the motion clip track and I can play this oh, back. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Great. And likewise, I can save this motion clip into my content manager for future uses. So just simply go to your motion clip tab, click on custom, and then highlight your, your, your new motion clip, the puppet clip we just created, and then click on save. And uh, Higgs boson. And that's my new animation. And then slowly you can start building your own content inside of the content manager. Thank you for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for other ones that include custom puppeteering in Crazy Talk 7.